So it is day three of the Etsy combined ads, and finally today I have got the button. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my other videos. But to quickly recap what's happening, earlier on in the month, Etsy announced they were doing away with promoted listings and Google shopping ads, and they were going to combine them all into one Etsy ads. Here they said they would make it easier for us to run our advertising campaigns by deciding for us how our money was spent and by deciding how to split our budget between Google shopping ads and promoted listings because they were noticing that not all of our promoted listing budget was being spent. They wanted to help us spend that full budget. Sorry, Itzy, but for me, that budget was the maximum I wanted to spend. I didn't necessarily want to spend the full thing. It was to give me some wiggle room for busy shopping days so I could spend a little bit more. It wasn't what I wanted to spend every day. So since yesterday's video, I wanted to share some more of the things I've learnt. And I know you're curious, so I'm going to get on and click that button so you can see what happens when you do. So you can decide if you want to or if you want to wait till we're forced to. So it seems from your comments yesterday that those of you that didn't have promoted listings or Google Shopping ads on already no longer have the option to switch them on. You're directly taken to the new Facebook ads. And this also means that you're not able to change your cost per click for your promoted listings. And Etsy have told us that for a while, as their system is learning, it will use our previous cost per clicks as that set value, and then they'll learn if they can do any better. They've not told us what values they'll be using for shops that didn't have anything set up who decide to put on adverts in the future. And they've also not told us what values they will use if someone was running adverts, had their cost per click set up, but switched off the adverts, say because it's quite quieter in the summer and when they go to switch them back on again, Etsy's not told us what cost per click they'll use if they'll default as if they'd never had adverts on or if they'll keep the cost per click they were using before they switched it off. My biggest fear is that it will default to the suggested cost per click that you see on prom or that you used to see on promoted listings. And this value for most people was far too high. So it burned through the budget way, way quickly. So this meant your budget was finished early in the day. And then for the whole rest of the day, your adverts were switched off until your budget reset the next day. I hope people that have traditionally used promoted listings, but say turn them off for the summer, I hope it will at least default to what their cost per click was and not this suggested bids. But I do think that Etsy should have given us a little more warning into what exactly they were going to do here to give people the chance, if they have their advertising switched off, but they generally have it on, to give them a chance to switch it on and check they're at the cost per click that they want to be at before giving them no option. I would much prefer if they'd have given us a little bit of warning. We knew this combined ads were coming, but we didn't know they were going to immediately block us from turning on our old promoted listings. Another concern I have is that in many niches, Google's cost per click is very high, a dollar per click or more. So it may be possible that this combined advertising will spend all of our budget early in the day on Google clicks, and then our ads will be turned off for the rest of the day and our promoted listings will barely even get seen. Anyway, let's be brave. Let's push the button because I know many of you guys are curious to at least see what it looks like, but scared to push because there's no going back. From my dashboard, I now do have a banner talking about these Etsy ads. So let's click that see what's new button. Oh, and by the way, while we're talking of clicking buttons, don't forget to click my subscribe button. That really helps me make more videos like these. Thank you. So when I click this button, it takes me to a brand new page. The new way to maximize your advertising. One campaign makes it easy for shoppers. So they say to us here, your current campaigns, past performances, data, budget and settings will be moved over to the Etsy ads. Switch to the Etsy ads today to see all the improvements we've made to make your budget go further or let us take care of it and we'll move everything over in the next few weeks. So they're claiming their new system will make our budget go further. I will be keeping a close eye on my stats in the next few weeks and months. 
I hope they can do what they claim, but I was getting a pretty good return on investments with promoted listings. High impact ads made easy. You told us you need simple tools to grow your business, and that's why we've created Eatsy Ads. Now, I did fill in some of their questionnaires in the past, and I did feel that some of their questions were a bit skewed to getting the results that they wanted to hear. I mean, who wouldn't click on a box that said they wanted it to be easier to make even more money in their adverts? But I don't recall them asking if we wanted to spend all of our budget in a day with no control over where it went. So, Etsy is promising here. Increase visits to your shop. Of course it does. And I'll be watching. I'll be really happy if it does this, but let's watch this space. I'm kind of almost sad I was running a test on running Google Shopping ads because now this means the data Etsy has for me, how much my ads were making, my return on investment, how many views I'm seeing per money being spent, is a bit skewed. It's a bit worse than it would have been. I would have loved if I'd just been running promoted listings to see if they could compete, their combined ads could compete with the return on investment I was getting from promoted listings alone. Make the most of your budget. Again, if they increase the results that I'm seeing, I'm happy for them to use up all of my budget. If. And say goodbye to guesswork. Eat to and make it easier to see how our ads are performing. So to me, this says they'll be giving us more data. Let's see. Anyway, let's click this Get Early Access button. You're one step away. When you turn on Etsy Ads, we'll automatically move your current ad campaign and transfer your budget over to our new platform. We'll optimize your campaign so you reach more buyers than ever on Etsy and Google. And when you start Etsy Ads, you won't be able to turn your old campaigns back on. And here we have the option to cancel or continue and set up Etsy Ads. Eek! Here we go. No going back. We're setting everything up. This may take a few minutes. And success! You're now advertising listings with a budget of $3 a day. So my promoted listings budget was $2 a day and my Google Shopping ads was $1 a day. So they've combined them all to make $3 a day. That's what I expected. You should start seeing traffic from your ads soon. Keep in mind it takes around 30 days to start seeing successful results. Okay, first view, first glance of this page, what I think. The graphs are gone. I don't like that. I like graphs. How much spent is not in the main line anymore. It's tiny below it. Assuming they want our focus to be on views and sales, but not cost. All of our listings are still there with the views, clicks, orders, revenue and budget spend, which is shown zero just now. So I assume they're not counting what was spent before I changed. Or is this a glitch? We can't see which ad, ad was clicked, for example, promoted listings or Google Shopping. And we have to calculate the average cost per click ourselves. But at least the data is there. Oh, and it seems the search for terms are still there for items with over 100 views. I'm assuming this is only the promoted listings data. It's good to see. I hope it stays. I was worried that this would go. And let's investigate these tabs. Change your budget. It is as it says, where you can set your daily budget. They're suggesting the higher it is, the more you'll get seen. The range you can set is between one and a hundred dollars. I don't know if this maximum is like the old adverts based on your history. So if you guys can let me know in the comments down below, what is your maximum? Is it a hundred dollars? Is it less or is it more? Change advertised listings. Oh good, at least we have control if we don't want to advertise all of our listings. So if we want, we can remove our least converting listings and perhaps get a slightly better return on investment. I am glad to see this. Turn off ads, as it says. Although it does point out that Christmas might be a good time to advertise. I agree with this, or it was before the change. We'll see what happens in the future. And share feedback. Oh, I bet that page is busy. So this is the first look at the new ads. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. So far for me, I'm waiting to see results. I'm glad we still see the clicks, orders and costs on individual listings. And that we can select which listings to advertise. 
And I'm very happy we can still see the search terms that our ads are showing up on. And even if they've got a high click through rate or a high sell through rate for those search terms. I'm not so happy with the loss of graphs. Graphs are a great visual representation. And if I was of a cynical bent, I would maybe wonder that they didn't have the graphs just now because you might see a step change when you've turned on these ads compared to what your old ads were. Your clicks, costs, etc. don't seem to be in lists that you can filter, that you can click on the header and change it so that you can get to see the highest number of sales all grouped together or the highest number of clicks. I found that useful functionality in the past. So, so far, it's not as bad as I feared. That doesn't mean I think it's great. But hopefully there's more changes and additional functionality coming. But I still advise you to hold off for now. If you can, if you can edit your cost per click, make sure it's set to something that you're super happy with. And spend this time gathering all the data you can about how your adverts are doing, about your return on investment, so you can compare once you've had the adverts, once you've had the new Etsy combined adverts running for a little bit of time, and see how you think it stacks up. Although, of course, this will be comparing summertime with Christmas time, so it'll always be a little bit in Etsy Ads' favour. Okay, I hope that's helped give you a quick look at what these new ads look like. So if you're feeling curious but worried to click that button, then I did it for you. So don't forget, click on my wee face to subscribe, check out the rest of the playlist for all the other videos on this subject, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much.